Hello, this is topic 9-2, uh, writing equations of lines, part 2. So, we're just going to continue practicing writing equations of lines. Uh, for example, number 1, we have a slope of negative 1, and we go through the point 8, 5. Well, we want to use point-slope form, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Slope is my m. This is my point x1, y1. So I rewrite this as y minus 5 equals negative 1 times x minus 8. We just go ahead and start solving this. I distribute the negative 1. y minus 5 equals a negative x plus 8, and then we add the 5 to get rid of it, and we get that y equals a negative x plus 13. And that's the equation of our line. Now, sometimes, instead of being given a slope and a point, we are just given two points. And so we need to figure out what our slope is. Well, remember that m is the change in y, so y2 minus y1, over the change in x. So it would be x2 minus x1. All right, so this is uh, x1, y1, x2, y2. So this would be a negative 6 minus a negative 3 over 3 minus 4, which negative 6 minus a negative 3 is negative 3, and 3 minus 4 is a negative 1, and so this just equals positive 3. All right. So that means m equals 3. Now I can go back to my point-slope form. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And really, I don't have to use this point. I could use either point. But since I've already got this labeled as 1, I'm going to use it. So y minus negative 3 equals 3 times x minus well, minus a negative is really plus, so this becomes y plus 3 equals distribute, and we get 3x minus 12. We subtract 3 from both sides, and we get y equals 3x minus 15. And that's all we're doing. First, use this formula to find the slope. Then you'll use this formula to find the equation of your line. Let's move on to example number three. Here we're told uh, negative five, negative five, and five, seven. So x and y, and x and y. So we want to start off with y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So 7 minus a negative 5 over a 5 minus a negative 5. And 7 minus negative 5 is 12. And 5 minus a negative 5 is 10. And when we simplify 12 over 10, um, we will get 6 fifths. So that's our m. And now we use our point-slope form. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Now, I could use this as my 1, but those are both negative. And negatives kind of make things difficult because I've got this minus a negative thing going. So I'm going to choose to use this point, which is fine so long as I stick with this point. So y minus 7 
equals 6 fifths times x minus 5. There's nothing to do over here, so this is just y minus 7 equals. Distribute that so we get 6 fifths x minus 6. Because 6 fifths times 5 is just 6. We get y by itself, so I'm going to add 7. And so y equals 6 fifths x plus 1. Because negative 6 plus 7 is 1. Again, find your slope. Use point slope form. Moving on to our next example. Again, we're given two points. Um, y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1, 8 minus 5 over 4 minus negative 2. Gives me 3 over 6, which is 1 half. That's my m. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Choose whatever point you want. I'm going to use that one because it doesn't have any negative signs. So y minus 8 equals 1 half x minus 4. Nothing happens on this side. I distribute the 1 half. I get 1 half x minus 2. To get the y alone, I add 8 to both sides. I get that y equals 1 half x plus 6. Now, for example number 5, I'm given a y-intercept and an x-intercept. Well, the y-intercept is 0, negative 3, and my x-intercept would be 7, 0. And now I still need to figure out my slope. And so my y2 is 0 minus negative 3 over my x2 is 7 minus 0 which is just 3 sevenths. That's my slope. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So y minus, I'm going to go ahead and use this one. I'll show you why here in a little bit. Uh, sorry. I'm going to go ahead and use this one. So y minus a negative 3 equals a 3 sevenths x minus zero. So I'm using this point right here. This becomes y plus three equals three sevenths x. I subtract three on both sides and y equals three sevenths x minus three. Now, I did the point slope form of the equation. Uh, remember the minus and negative give me is a plus. But if you'll notice, I already have my y-intercept. This tells me that b is negative 3 for the equation y equals mx plus b. Well my m goes here and my b goes there. And I could have already had my equation without having having to use this point slope form. Right. Let's talk about number six. Well, this is a horizontal line that goes through negative two, six. And so it's a horizontal line which means that it doesn't matter what points I put on here, my y value will always be 6. y equals 
six. So if you've got a horizontal line, all you need is the y value. Now if you have a vertical line through five, negative three, it doesn't matter what other points you pick, your x is always going to be five. And so x equals five. These two are just uh, very simple. Uh, horizontal and vertical lines. All you need to worry about is uh, if it's horizontal, do you do y, uh, you do y? If it's vertical, you do x. If you can't remember, draw yourself a little picture. Good luck on the assignment. Have a good day.